The Chevrolet Corvette, America's supercar, turned 70 this week. But this septuagenarian is showing no signs of slowing down. In fact, it's only getting faster and finally stepping into the electric age. Meet the newly debuted 2024 Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray, both the first hybrid and the first all-wheel driven model in the nameplate's history. And with 655 horsepower and a claim to a 2.5 second 0 to 60 sprint, it's also the quickest series production vet yet. The E-Ray name is a play on Stingray, which makes sense as the new kid starts with the same 6.2 liter LT2 V8 as the standard C8 Corvette Stingray that's been stalking the streets since its 2020 debut. The combustion motor sends 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque to the rear wheels by an 8-speed dual-clutch transaxle. No surprises here. Now, putting the electrified E in E-Ray is the addition of a 160 horsepower electric motor on the front axle, twisting the front wheels to the tune of 125 pound-feet of additional torque. Current is drawn from a high-voltage lithium-ion battery pack tucked into the transmission tunnel between the coupe or the convertible seats. Now, since the VET switched to a mid-engine configuration for the C8 generation, that's free real estate. Now, the E-Ray is not a plug-in hybrid. It's a self-contained hybrid that charges solely via regenerative braking during deceleration or coasting. The addition of electrification enables a new stealth mode, which uses only the front electric motor for near-silent operation. In this mode, the E-Ray also technically becomes the first-ever front-wheel drive Corvette, but only up to around 45 miles per hour. Exceed that speed, dip too deeply into the throttle, or deplete the battery pack's limited range, and the V8 automatically kicks over. The E-Ray's battery is only packing 1.9 kilowatt hours of capacity, just slightly more than a Prius's 1.2 kilowatt hour pack, so we're talking just a couple of miles at best of stealth mode, which is mostly there to slip in and out of your neighborhood without waking the block. No, the true benefit here is electric assist rather than electric range. Working in concert, the E-Ray's electric all-wheel drive system outputs a combined 655 horsepower and sprints from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds. That's 0.4 seconds faster than the standard Stingray and 0.1 seconds quicker than the race-bred Z06, making this the quickest production Corvette yet. Keep your foot in it and the E-Ray will complete the quarter mile in just 10.5 seconds. Sport programming and a charge plus regeneration mode should help optimize electric assist and regenerative performance during extended track lapping sessions. But of course, the lighter Z06 is probably still the most finely honed tool for track use. That said, the E-Ray boasts a number of other advantages for the road. The electric all wheel drive system promises improvements to traction and stability in low grip situations potentially making this an all-season sport car that's better equipped to deal with rain or snow or ice than its rear-driven predecessors. Electric all-wheel drive should also enable the Corvette's active fuel management cylinder deactivation tech to more liberally take advantage of the V8's four-cylinder mode when you're cruising or coasting on the highway, yielding improvements to fuel economy there as well. Now you'll notice that the E-Ray is much wider than the standard Stingray, 3.6 inches wider in fact, sharing its wide body proportions and panels with the Z06. Tucked into those flared arches are staggered 20 inch front and 21 inch rear wheels with a unique E-Ray five spoke design. Michelin Pilot Sport all season tires are standard, sort of playing into that sports car for all seasons sort of theme, but upgraded Pilot Sport 4S tires are also available as part of a ZER performance package, boosting the E-Ray's lateral grip to around 1.1G. Chevy's decided to make the Brembo carbon ceramic brake standard equipment, partially because it's a flex, but also because you'll be using so much regen that they don't really want steel brakes to corrode. Magnetic rack control is also standard equipment for the performance hybrid. Now inside, you'll notice new screens on the infotainment that allow different layouts for monitoring the power and efficiency of the electric motor and the V8. The ERA will also be offered with a full roster of Corvette driver assistance tech, things like lane keep assist, forward collision alert, and automatic emergency braking. Checking the spec sheet, I noticed that the E-Ray's cargo volume of 12.5 cubic feet is virtually unchanged from the Stingray's 12.6 cubes, so it looks like stuffing a whole extra motor under the hood doesn't significantly compromise the frunk. That means the Corvette Stingray E-Ray is still one of the most practical sports cars you can buy. The 2024 Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray arrives later this year, starting at $104,295 for the 1LZ Coupe, 
or $111,295 for the 1LV convertible before destination charges and inevitable dealer markups. There's no getting around it, that's a lot of money. But the six-figure E-Ray is still just a touch less expensive than a full-blown Z06. And if you consider this a supercar and compare it against other mid-engine exotic performance vehicles like the McLaren Artura or the Ferrari 296, well, it's kind of a steal. Get a good long look at the 2024 E-Ray over at cars.cnet.com where you can also find driving impressions for the standard Stingray and that hardcore Z06.